Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the inter-school transfer process. This is the process where a pupil or pupils leave your school and move to another school. To do this, under the Your Options menu on the left hand side of the screen, go to Pupil and Search. You want to search for the details of the pupil that's leaving. So in this case, I know a pupil, Samantha, or if I knew her pupil ID or her PPSN, I enter those in and I'm searching for her record. So I know Samantha's parents came in yesterday and told me that they'd be leaving the school tomorrow as they were moving. So I've called up Samantha's records here and I go to the second tab. So that's the enrollment tab and I click that. And you can see halfway down the page, there's a question, is the pupil leaving? And there's a tick box. So I know she's leaving, so I've ticked the box. And then further down the page, this brings up two additional questions. Leaving date, so when is the pupil leaving? She's leaving tomorrow. And leaving destination, so where is she going? So I click the drop down menu. As you can see, there's a range of options here but I know she's going to another national school in the state, so I select this. This brings up two more questions. What county is this other school in and what's the roll number of the school? So I know that they're moving to the other side of Dublin, so it's in Dublin, the school. And I this brings up a list of all roll numbers of schools in Dublin. So you can either just type directly in the roll number or you can scroll down until you find the school that you're looking for. Alternatively, if you didn't know the county, you could just type in the roll number here and then we could work backwards and find out the county. So now click save. So you've now marked Samantha as a lever. You've indicated she's going to another school and you've given the roll number of the other school. So now click save. If you go back to your landing page, you will see a sign here saying that an outbound pupil is awaiting transfer acceptance. So this is Samantha now because you've marked that she's leaving. And if you click here, it'll just show you this again. It'll show you that Samantha is going to a different school and it, the other school hasn't accepted her in yet. Now, if we look at it from the other school's perspective, so here's the landing page of the other school. So the other school has a message here on their landing page saying an inbound pupil is is awaiting transfer acceptance. So the second school clicks and they see that a pupil, Samantha Livingstone, and it gives the roll number of the first school of where she came from, is awaiting acceptance into their school. So when that pupil arrives in the second school, the second school has her details already. They tick the box here. They select a teacher. So she's going to go into Mrs. Chemist's class and um, she came from first class. She's going back into first class in this new school and enrollment date. It's very important to put in the enrollment date here. So it's the date she's arrived in the school. And then the new school clicks import pupils. A message appears at the top reminding the second school of their obligations under the Education Welfare Act that in writing they need to notify the first school that their pupil has now moved to their school. If we go back now to the first school, back to the first school's landing page, you'll see the message has disappeared as the outbound pupil has now gone. 